Hi everyone, welcome to week three of UT Mental. This week we're going to be tackling stigma. For those of you who aren't familiar, stigma is kind of the shame surrounding speaking out uh, about mental health that a lot of people experience um, and it prevents people from you know really being honest about what they're struggling with uh, and seeking help but stigma can also be a really really personal experience a lot of people have a hard time accepting the fact that they have a mental illness or a mental health issue because there is so much internal shame uh, and that really prevents you from seeking help and to moving from really struggling with your mental illness to being in recovery and getting the services you need and I think that stigma stems from the fact that there's so much uncertainty associated with with mental illness, it's often very hard to see. There really isn't a place on the body that we can identify as mental illness. Um, as much as mental illness can be categorized by behaviors and thoughts and feelings, um, it's sometimes more subtle. And people are very good at hiding that mental illness and hiding their struggles and experiences with mental illness. And the reality is we shouldn't live in a world where people have to uh, hide their mental illness or become good at hiding their mental illness because that does a lot of harm. Speaking from experience, it does a lot of harm and it prevents people from not only getting the services they need, but from living their life. Um, it prevents you from making positive, meaningful relationships because there's always that barrier. There's always that barrier of authenticity and truth that you cannot pass because stigma builds that wall and prevents you from, from moving on and moving forward. And as much as we can, you know, realize these things, realize how powerful stigma is and how harmful it is and problematic it is to people, it's still really scary. Um, when I was asked to do UT Mental, there was a part of me that is still here, I think, that is, you know, scared. Scared to be honest about what I struggle with because I know the people I see every day are going to watch this. And I know people I don't know are going to watch this. And I don't know what you'll think of me, right? That's being authentic. I don't know what you'll think of me. Um, and that's that stigma. That stigma. That's preventing me from sharing my personal experiences and from everyone for everyone sharing their personal experiences. But even though stigma is scary and making these videos has been a very vulnerable experience, truth is often more important and truth is often more beneficial. Uh, there's this really, really great quote by Dr. Brene Brown, who's helped me immensely um, in my experiences with mental illness and shame, the quote says, empathy is the antidote to shame. Um, and that's something I've really carried with me because shame is a profoundly human experience, um, but we don't talk about it. We don't talk about what shame feels like and that's really harmful to all of us. I remember as a kid, my first experience with mental illness happened late one night. I just couldn't sleep um, and something was wrong and I didn't know how to talk about it. I remember getting up, grabbing a piece of paper and writing a note to my parents about how I was feeling. Um, and I distinctly remember putting the words depressed in that letter even though I didn't know what that meant. But I remember taking that note and taping it to the wall in the hallway because I didn't want to wake them up. Um, and I didn't want to sit in that moment and talk to them about it. Um, and I think from then on, it, it my experiences with depression waxed and waned. Um, it's a journey. Some days were better than others. Some years were better than others. There were some pretty dark times, but eventually that stopped. I kind of progressed out of it, which happens, but it still stays with me. 
when I got to university, that depression was still there. Um, and it was very hard for a period of time. But it began to transform. Um, and I think this is probably something a lot of people with mental illness feel, that their illness adapts to, to their to their lives. Uh, when I got to university, my depression kind of, it faltered off and it wasn't that prominent, I think, after first year, but that became kind of crippling anxiety. Um, the pressures of everything surrounding me, it was hard. It, it's still hard. I'm still experiencing that now, and it's an everyday thing that I have to deal with, right? Um, for me personally, it's I have a lot of health anxiety. I have a lot of bodily body anxiety. Um, so it's hard. It's hard to really get a grasp on my health. And I'm learning. I'm learning. I am grateful that I, after a year of seeing a counselor at the HCC, that I was able to stop therapy um, because I had progressed enough to say, I think I'm, I'm good. I still go back sometimes. There are still moments where I need to and kind of everything is falling apart, but I go, I, I think I'm okay um, for now. And I acknowledge that and I acknowledge that for now because mental illness is not something that's stagnant. It's a journey. I'm getting to know who I am, uh, and that's okay. So I really want to encourage everyone watching to take a moment out of their day and just talk to someone. Talk to someone about how they're feeling. Talk to someone about how you're feeling. Um, because like I said before, empathy is the antidote to shame. And if you're dealing with something that is very difficult, speak out speak out about it because it has the potential to change your life. It did for me. You can be helpful too. You can be helpful to those who you know are struggling with mental illness by just sitting down and saying, this is really hard for you. I acknowledge that, but I'm all in with you. I'm, in, I'm here for you. Um, I'm here to talk. I'm here to just sit with you in silence if that's what you need. I know how hard it can be to speak out. Um, so if you're watching this and you're struggling, I get it, but do it. If you feel like you can't talk to anyone, I am gonna put my email down below. And if you're comfortable, really, please send me a message and I will be there. <laughs> so thank you for tuning in. This was fun. Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, but it's important that we talk about this. It's important that we continue that conversation. Um, check out the rest of the vloggers here. They are all doing fantastic, great vlogs. Chrissy is tomorrow. She has too much energy. Chrissy, tone it down. No, I'm joking. You're doing great. Um, and I guess we'll talk next week about resilience. Great topic. I'm excited. All right. Have a good day. Thank you. You know what also helps with stigma? Dogs. Oh my god. You're so cute. <laughs>